Wampian Woman of the Year ceremony again is this Thursday at 1.30 p.m. Please tune in. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be a show. We told someone to save their voice, and they haven't said much, so I can only imagine what they will say come Thursday. Good luck. Good luck. While we here for the ladies, Chrome 23 is back, and they're in Miami. I like this. I like the vibe, the trailer. If the crazy part about the trailer, if you say something good about the trailer, are you just because shout out to Suit the Remy? I'm gonna say that Suit the Remy, Suit the Remy. So I'm, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna say good trailer. That's all I'm gonna say. You know, said very well done. I like the vibe, like the energy. I appreciate that. But the main event is A Verb versus Swamp. Finally, The Rock hat. Finally, this match is going down. They've been talking for back and forth for a whole year. You know, chattering in spaces, saying this and saying that. Avery would let me up in the spaces talking this. So they just going, ha, 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 ha. And Remy Ma made it happen. I'm going to leave it at that. It's nothing else to talk about. I feel like, you know, when um, a battle was booked, that's when it's your battle. And I'm pretty sure you can catch me on camera saying that before, too. So when you book the battle, it's your battle. If you didn't book the battle, it's not your battle. It's, the rules are very simple. So I'm not going to get into this or that. It's for what? Why would I waste that time when I can talk about the woman on the card? Out the gate, Shayrak versus Zan. Zan, listen, listen. Yeah, I, I'm Philly all day. We all know that, a hundred percent. But I keep it a thousand. You have a tough task in front of you. You beating her would speak volumes. Hmm? Talking this woldy shit. You beating her would speak volumes. She just ranked number six. All right, cause she been putting in work and she's low key been doing good. I got to see it. When you're using the trenches, I thought you did good in the trenches too. You had to get a little, little turbulence here or there, but then you got it together and you did what you're supposed to do. But for me personally, I'm going with Shayrak. Shuni the rapper versus Z Hart. Here's the crazy part about this. I'm not trying to get back to no beef and no drama at all. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm trying to, whatever happened in the past happened in the past, but E Hart, this ain't about you. The fire has been lit. Under Shuni, the rapper's hoss. You know what I'm saying? She just had a, a, a monumental back and forth about production rate. About this. And I feel like, you know, people put the spotlight on the Wody panel. But guess what? What they would say on that panel, put a spotlight on Shuni. Because now they're going to be like, let me see what, what they were saying was right. So I think Shuni's going to be sharp. Shuni's already dangerous. It's a consistency. It's just a consistency. And I feel like this battle, she's going to be consistent. I know, I know that's a backwards way to take stuff. But again, it's like, imagine you at work, or whatever it is, and, and I guess the, the CEO walks in or something, you got to tighten up. What I'm saying is, you should even put on notice. That's all I'm saying. And E-Heart's phenomenal. I think her second round, mm, her second round from QB, that could have been round of the year as well, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? Even for the shooting rapper versus Shock and Shook, that entire three rounds that she did, yeah, that could have been up there too. I'm just saying. But for me personally, if I had to pick somebody right now and knowing what I know, knowing what I know, I'm going to go with Shuni 2-1. Shuni 2-1 for this one. Shout out to E-Hart. Much love to E-Hart. Prestavia versus Shayna Hashley. Prestavia versus Shayna Hashley. I like this one. This is probably to me, and this is no slight to A-Verb and Swamp when I say what I say. I can't say I pay attention 100% to the ladies, but my percentage is pretty good. It's pretty high. In fact, there's that factor in. I, I can see those things. And I feel like this is going to be the battle of the night. If I had to pick a battle of the night in terms of passion, hunger, and really want to display their talents, Shayna battled three times last year. I'm going to say this, Shayna. I didn't see that third battle myself. The third battle that you, you know, you're in the space and arguing for, I didn't, Jay Black didn't see that. I didn't even know it was out. I still ain't watched it yet. Sorry. And again, people are trying to lie. It's only got 2,000 views. So everybody don't got a cap. Stop the cap. Y'all lying. Y'all full of shit. It's okay. Y'all full of shit. All right? But with that being said, I'm basing off of what she did in her, her battle versus Rosenberg Raw and Tori Doe Round. I go, you go. You go, I go. I go, you go. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you. I'm going off for that. And I feel like even though she did phenomenal, she had five really good rounds. And I'm only saying it with the utmost respect and positivity that you're not being tested. Prestavia is going to test you. 
Prestavia, Prestavia, she going to test you. Oh, yeah, it's a fight now. Oh, you in a fight now, huh? You in a real fight. Not saying that you haven't been in those. It's got the way. Because Shayna, what she's accomplished in the game and in her entire career, she she's her. You know what I'm saying? That aggressive, that, that bar for bar, good rapper, Shayna does that. That's not a question. Jay Black is not questioning that. I wouldn't get on this 4K camera and question that. Don't even try me. Yeah. Don't play with me. With that being said, I'm going for Stavia 2-1. Um, you went for a fight, though, Shayna. I'd love to be wrong. <laughs> Jay Black would love to be wrong. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But again, it's my ballot tonight. Shout out to both of these ladies. Uh, next up is Coffee Brown versus Jay. Coffee has been on the tier. Let's get it out of the way. When people say, you know, it's only between Jazz and Hustle, you're lying. You are you haven't been telling the truth. Or you haven't been watching the battles. You know what I'm saying? You haven't been watching. Coffee was on a tear. After the twerk battle happened, she went on a tear. You can argue she went all of them. You know what I'm saying? Are some of them debatable? It depends on what she goes to. You know what I'm saying? But um, she did her thing last year, and I don't think she's stopping now. I just witnessed her versus Arsenal. She didn't. She didn't. She she didn't tighten up in that battle. Part of me. She 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 did her thing in that battle too. From first to third, she she was on one. I don't see her slowing down at Jade. I'm going coffee, two one in this battle. I got coffee with the victory. Five is shot of Jade. I feel like Jade had a lot of opportunities in front of this person, in front of that person, and she was solid. But I was more impressed with Coffee Brown um last year for me to pick a winner for now. Um. Final battle, the main event, which you know I, I kind of commended because I said when the, when they announced him and Holler versus Easy the Block, I said, "Listen, this is what you're supposed to do: get the main event that the niggas want to see, so they can pay attention to the rest of the women. You kind of force them into doing that. So I think that's what happened here, and I appreciate that. I ain't mad at that. You know what I'm saying Ava versus Swamp. Um, it's like a lot of factors into this battle. Do we talk about time limits? Do we talk about angles? A verb is already saying he got a ghost rider. Oh boy. Sheesh. Where do we start, ladies and gentlemen? Do we go off of uh crowd reaction, room size? I don't know. What do y'all want to do with this? Let me know. It's a lot you can factor into prediction. Uh Swamp, he messes up a little bit here and there. But a lot of times he's really good. You feel me? So do you factor that part in? A verb had a great battle versus ill will. Did his thing. And pretty much a smaller set, more of a quietest room, a few people on set. But I'm pretty sure in Miami, <clears throat> this will probably be 100 or better. Probably 100. I, I feel like this is going to be what Gichi Gotti and uh, Easy to Block Captain was. You know, 150, 300 people, give or take. It's going to be that. And I feel like in a crowd setting, you know what I'm saying, with all women, I'm, I'm getting flashbacks to Aver versus uh, Casey J. When they did, they just wouldn't let Verb go. They wouldn't give a verb the proper respect. Uh, a verb versus Miss Hustle. You know what I'm saying? The ladies weren't really trying to hear a verb like that. Is that y'all gonna do that to verb? Y'all gonna be fair about this, man? Y'all gonna be fair about this? I I need to know the set. I was I need to know the set. I have to know the set. Um, off rip. This battle to me, it, it, going in prediction right now without seeing too much. I, hopefully that ghost fighting angle is is just talk. Because the thing about ghostwriting, you got to prove it, though, too, right? And if he can prove that inside the battle, oh, it's up for you, Swan. But then again, people don't really prove nothing. And Swamp said, listen, I don't know what the fuck you talking about, nigga. Keep making up. I'm going to whoop your ass. Prove what? Prove what? I'm just good. That's why I did good in that tournament, nigga. Stop playing. That's what Swamp's saying. So I... Maybe that's a waste of time. I don't know. Y'all be knowing the answers, battle rappers. Y'all get paid what y'all get paid to get on top of that stage and do what y'all do. So I think Averb can just rap with him, though. It's remind me of Calico versus Goods when uh, Calico took the angle. Like, you don't got to do that. Brother, you're gifted. <laughs> when you was talking about accolades, of what, 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 what he didn't do and what you did, like, oh, that was winning to me. So I, I don't know what route he's going to take, but it's like, do you even need a route? Just... Swamp, whoop his ass. Aver, whoop his ass. Right? I don't think we gotta overthink this too much. You know, but this is a great battle. Um, deserves to be at the top of the card. But again, my, my battle tonight is Prestavia. And she didn't ask you, but if I had to pick a winner right now, a prediction. And a prediction. Consistency factored into 
if I if y'all putting a battle rap uh, gun in my head, off rip. I'm not. I won't bet money on this. I can't bet money against either party in this situation, this equation. And I will say this: maybe a face off can change my mind. Maybe a face off can change my mind. I say that right now. In terms of motivation, I want to go verb. Then I want to go swamp. So I'm like, yo, verb talk crazy in the spaces every day. That nigga snap on you every day for about an hour. He battled ill will, and the day of the battle, he's talking shit. I feel like that'll piss nigga like Swamp off. He's getting, Averb talking so much shit, he's getting the best out of everybody. That was one of the best awards. One of, one of. He battled ill will. Ill will's one of the best ill wills. You gotta think, he was in that same circle with pain. What happened? He battled Verb. It's different. So it's like you can get a best swamp. You can get a consistent swamp. Um, for right now, though, if I had to pick a winner. I'm gonna go with a verb two one edge. A verb two one edge over swamp, but my mind can be changed depending on what he and he says. You know what I mean? Whatever factors in. I, I want to know the rest of the, the layout. I want to know the room size. I want to know if there's a stage. It's in Miami. I will say this verb again. The shit is stacked against you, low key. If it's if that shit is for women, because again, the whole car is women. You know they don't be rocking. Go back to your past battles against women when the majority of the crowd was women. Just saying. All right, that's how I call it. That's how I call it. Real fast too. My last thing we'll add in. I realize it's Miami. Three Letter Man is in Miami. Three Letter Man is in Miami. You know who else is in Miami? Cece. Hold on, hold on, everybody. Hold on. That's what I want y'all to do. At Chrome23, at Remy Ma. If y'all don't have, I don't want to step on nobody's toes. I don't. So if people, y'all got people in place to do commentary, salute to them. Keep them doing what they got to do. But it being in Miami, I would love to see the letter man and Cece on a commentary tip. If if people are not in place yet, you know what I'm saying if people are not in place yet, I would love to see CC again. CC is part of one of the biggest radios in Miami too, so y'all can like y'all can actually like work something out. Y'all can really like <laughs> she could bring people on the radio station. I'm trying to work with me, work with me here. You know what I'm saying so at CC at Chrome Twenty Three at Rima, then at CC at Three Letterman. Three Letterman's already. Letterman's already amazing. What are we talking about? He did a commentary with Jay Black at UW. Brother ain't skip a beat. All right? So let it be known. Put the word out. Because it's only because it's in Miami. You got two people that's already in Miami. Two amazing media members that's already in Miami. Oh, boy. I like that. Shout out to Chrome 23, Susan Ring Mott. Glad to see y'all back. Trenches is next. I got y'all. All right? We out. Wampion this Thursday, 1.30 p.m. Stay tuned.